as clearly given in the background by Sun, the autonomy is there that is based on the 1999 constitution as amended. Three tiers of governments. Then why are the other two tiers functioning so well? as federal, state, and not the local government uh, councils in the country. We all know the genesis. The set of governors, 1999 to 2003, were the genesis. When they made sure that local government were crippled so that they lose their autonomy, in which they were also uh, beneficiaries of this autonomy. All of us who were beneficiaries when we were in primary schools, we know uh, what the local government was doing in terms of basic education, basic health. But they, because of their political interest, they made sure that Jack account was created. They made sure that no election centrally, no tenure centrally, and that was, these are some of the factors that led us to the present situation. Now, only very few states presently, to be frank, are allowing local governments breathe. Some of these states, you can count like Nesarawa State, which I happen to be a witness. I was elected in 2018. Till now, this governor has never interfered in our uh, allocation. Rather, when we are experiencing shortage, he was always there to help us, to augment us, to come out of uh, such thing. The same thing if you go to Lagos State, the same thing Delta State, the same thing Yobe State, the same thing Plateau, Edo, Kwara, Kaduna, and so many, but majority, they don't allow local government councils to operate as clearly stated by the Constitution. This I know practically because I interact, I do interact with the 36 states Algon chairman and the FCT. And we do compare notes time to time on happenings in our various states. So this, uh, uh, the present, this is the present situations, or these are some of the present situations local government councils are in Nigeria. But those that allow them to brief, those that always aid them, guide them to perform their constitutional responsibilities, when you go to these states, you will see a lot of achievements being recorded by the local government councils chairman. Then why can't other states copy from these states? I'm saying this with facts, without ambiguity. Go to these states, you will see development. Go to any state that local government uh, councils are allowed freedom or autonomy or partial autonomy to operate. So this is the situation now. We are in Nigeria, and this is why we are experiencing a lot of challenges at the grassroots unless and until we address these issues. And also the federal government, too, is guilty of this uh, strangulation. Look at how the revenue is being shared. Only 18%, slightly above 18%, goes to local government councils. When the local government, seven seven for local government councils in Nigeria have more responsibilities to perform or to undertake than the uh, the federal government and it is even saddening when even at the fact local government councils being 774 are not being represented there they only do what they want to do and then send down to the local government uh, councils without their uh, representation there likewise if you look at the federal government look at certain functions that ordinarily Local government can perform, like provision of rural roads, basic health, and the like. You see, what does the federal government, what does he have to go to local government councils 
in undertaking rural electrification, rural roads, and to uh, 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 basic health facilities. Why? Because they have surplus amount at their disposal instead of bringing this amount to local government councils so that they can perform optimally. They are not doing so. So everyone is guilty. What are we doing too? We at the local government uh, level, the populace, we allow it to just go the water to pass under the bridge. Why? Let us be praising those governors that are allowing autonomy to local government councils. Let others copy those that are not allowing local government councils to perform optimally. If they are allowed, we all know this issue of security, issue of food security, so many issues will be uh, tackled at the grassroots. Because local government operators, they are the ones who actually know who and who resides in one area or the other. But they are not being uh, allowed to do so. Also, when you look at the uh, conduct of elections at local government councils, it's one of the reasons. Even if the state houses or assembly can uh, legislate, but the constitution clearly states, let there be elected executives at the local government council. So let's threaten them. Let's uh, call for the full implementation of that. Even if the order autonomy will not come, let the House of Houses of Assembly do what other states are doing. Very few states. Allow them. And then even if they will not allow the election to be conducted centrally, then let's threaten the six. That is state uh, independent electoral commissions. Let there be penalty for the operators of such commissions. If they don't do the right thing, let there be uh, legislation. Let there, be, even though the laws are there, let us have the political will to implement these laws. And then we should also have a unified tenure for the local government councils. When a local government chairman comes in, he knows that he will spend four years and without any interference, then it will go a long way to address so many issues. But whereby when a local government comes, even if he was elected just uh, uh, last year, and a new government comes in at the state level, he will just uh, make sure that the local government chairman were being sent away. Like my state, I can always mention, when the government when ASLA came in, he inherited us from the former, the, from the previous government. But Upon all pressures, he refused to tamper with us. And even when our first tenure ended, he conducted election again before the expiration of our tenure. In 20 That's why we are in now. So why can't other governors do? What will it uh, take away from them? If they allow that, it will rather take out a lot of burdens on them because local Thank you very much. can handle that. Thank simply. you for your opening remarks, um, Honorable Mwazu. I, I just wanted to get um, a little more clarification. You have mentioned quite a number of states as uh, practicing either partially, uh, partial or full autonomy of local governments. And I begin to wonder who are the governors who are opposing the federal government at the Supreme Court when government says, Look, let's implement full autonomy of local government, including your state government. All 36 are saying, you know, no, are resisting the practice of uh, full autonomy. So who are those that are practicing it at the moment? Like my state, they, they, they erroneously mentioned my state that uh, uh, the local government councils are being run by caretaker, which is not the case. So in the response, my governor, my, our, this, our attorney general clearly uh, stated it to them. And I, I also mentioned Lagos. If you go to Lagos, there have been elected executives since and four year tenure. If you go to Yobe State, 
It is there. They were just sworn in a few uh, days ago from one transition to the other. If you go to Gombe, the 